and welcome to another episode of Blender. Here with myself, Demanders MC, and I'm here today with myself, obviously. And today we're going to be making some more gunzos, which is going to be fun. Um, and this is a typical M4. If you haven't seen the last episodes, make sure you check them out. It makes so much sense when you watch them that it, yeah, it just makes lots of sense. Anyway, I think this is looking pretty good at the moment, so if I hit 3, then I can go in, into this. And by the way, if I haven't explained this already, you hit 5, usually, um, when you hit 3, it'll be like this, when you hit 3. So make sure you hit 5 afterwards, and it'll make it in linear mode as well. And then it'll just be from side view, and you can uh, see all the little parts here. So anyway... In this episode, I said I'll be doing the barrel and uh, the silencer and this this kind of front bit here. And I said I'll be doing that for you guys, so I'm going to do it right now. So first of all, I'm going to do Shift A. I'm going to add a mesh, and it's going to be cylinder. Now, what I want to do is I want to make this. If you haven't seen last episode, it's exactly the same. It's it's exactly the same as I did in the last episode. So um, this is a tiny bit of catch up. I did it for this bit back here, and um, what I want to do is I want to, where is it, um, where, where has it gone, it's got translate, but uh, I have to delete that, shift A, nope, shift A, add cylinder, cap type, cap fill type, and we want nothing, so then, yeah, we won't have as many vertices and it won't be really weird. So now, what we want to do is we want to do R, Y, no we don't, we want to do R, X, 90. And that will make it so that it can fit on the end of this. And uh, then we want to scale it down a bit. So like there maybe. Now if I hit 3, uh, what I want to do is I want to make it go into the same place as it would be going into so make it scale it down slightly move it down yes yeah, so that's good and if I hit S and then Y it'll scale it down on the Y axis and it'll make it thinner so yeah I've made that and it's gonna be like that and I'm gonna move it so it's in the right position there so if I hit zero now or no I mean if I hit three we'll be raving to go with this I think it's looking pretty good now. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit 3 again. And if you can see, we ha it goes up and then it goes down again ish, like that. So then we're going to hit E. Actually, no, we're going to hit escape. Sorry. Uh, we're going to hit A. And you want to select all. And you want to go into here, actually. You want to go into press tab, go into edit mode. I'm going to click line select, you want to select all these lines um, going around here until you get that. And now if you don't know how to do that I just hold held control down and yeah that, that made it kind of go around all the way so I hit E and I'm going to hit S and it's going to go in slightly like um, I don't know how much so I'm going to pull it out slightly and hit 3. Okay, no, it, it goes out like that. And it goes down. Out like that. So there we have the new part. And uh, if we just go three again, we're going to hit E. Go to here. Hold control so it can go in a straight line and then hit scale down. So it's going to scale down to there. And then we're going to hit E, S, scale up to there. And we're going to hit E again and hold control and bring it all the way across to there. Now, if we hold control and use the scroll wheel, we can move it left and right. Same with up and down, you hold shift. And now we want to hit E. Look about, hold control, about there, S, bring it down, 
that there, move it across a bit. And hit B. And then move it across. And then hit E. Move it across and scale it. Down to there. And we're going to hit E again. And then we're going to go move it across to here and then we're going to scale it up slightly so we're going to hit E S scale it up ever so slightly move it along and E moving it along in here like so and then E um, escape S drag this line over and then we're going to go E, escape, move it over to the place you want it to be, S, make it smaller and here we are, we're near the end now so we're going to hit E, um, we'll bring it over there, move it over slightly more to here, E, move it across, S, make it larger. We're going to go E, get to here, if, and we're going to go make it ever make it bigger at the end. So we're going to go E, escape, S, slightly bigger. We're going to go S, slightly even bigger than that. And we're about there, I think. And then we go E, escape bring it all the way over to here and then we're going to go E escape, move it across like that and then go scale it down that, there we are we have the front of the gun basics super basics Like this is the basics you can get up to really and then for the front we're going to literally just go um, S and no E S Scale it down to about there, and we're gonna go E, escape, press the green arrow. Uh, if I can move over here, green arrow, I'm gonna bring it all the way down to there, maybe even further if I wanted to, but bring it down there. And then we want to do E S and then enter. So what that will do is it will just make it so that there we are. We have for the inside as well as the outside. And we'll hit A and there we are. We have that. And it's really nice. Crisp edges, everything. And now what we're going to do is if we have a look, if we hit 7, this has a cor like like lines through it. It has like awesome kind of cool lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Control R, scroll. So now we'll have loads of these different lines. Now I don't know how many there are, so I'm gonna count it. If it's zero, it'll be better. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we wanna have uh, twenty-two these things, so 22, so 20. control R, um, scroll up until at the bottom down here it should say 22, 22, there we are, that's great, and we're going to hit escape on that and then it will make it all even, now what we're going to do is we're going to go S, um, Y, down slightly, uh, no, I think that's fine. And then, hmm, control Z. Right, I think I can manage this now. So, all we have is S, Y, make it thinner, like that. We'll hit A, press the control Z again, move it along, forward, 
that means. Then we hit A. Now with this, we have lots and lots of vertices there. So what we're going to do is we're going to select, um, we're going to go into face select. We're going to select control all the way around here. See it breaches there. And then we're going to hit shift and then control all the way around here. Hold shift, click, bring it all the way around. If you have any better way of doing this, I don't think there is one, but if there is, please leave it in the comment section because I have literally no idea how to do this except doing the shift, click, and then control click all the way around. This is the easiest way I know how to do it. It's so easy. Oh my goodness, how did that happen? Anyway, uh, shift. Control all the way over here. Control. Control. Boom. Shift. Control. 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 All the way around the whole thing. And hold shift. Control. 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 You gotta do this eleven times. This is gonna take a while. Um, shift, control, all the way down here, control, 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 shift, control, 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 and then we have shift, control, control, control click, right click by the way just saying and then we hit control, control right click right click and scroll use the scroll wheel to hold there's like the scroll wheel to zoom in and out and then if you pu push it down you can scroll like this you can rotate and hold control back to here so there we have the whole thing selected now if we have a look at if we hit seven there's a bit of the side Totally on either side. That's let's say it doesn't have any rig. So what I'm going to do is these two. Hold shift whilst you're doing this. Oh darn it! I'm going to click all the ones on the side. And I'm trying to think if I'm them two. on them too. You can see that. So there we are. The sides are now off that list. Now what we want to do is we want to go X. And now that will just go really weirdly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go X Y, no S X. Um, it's gonna be no. We're gonna go E. It's gonna make it like that. It's gonna be really weird. Hit escape, and we're gonna go F. We don't wanna do that at the moment. What we wanna do is we're gonna go X X, and I'm gonna go 0.9, and then S Z. I think that will be better to do it with numbers because otherwise it just goes really weird. And yeah, so I think that looks really cool now. Hit A. That is super cool. And now we all know what I'm going to do is I'm going to ruin it and hit an A and we're going to go add modifier and we're going to go subdivision surface. Now, if, if we uh, just go out of edit mode, that looks pretty cool. But it doesn't look realistic. Um, if we go back, 
this looks pretty cool, but it doesn't look realistic. It looks like a kind of skeleton kind of thing. So what I want to do is I want to um, sharpen it. So with this, what we want to do is we want to just hit Control R. We'll do that. Bring it across. Control R. Do that. Bring it across. Control R. We want to do this for every single little bit. all in the inside part, so have fun with this whilst you're doing it. Actually no, I don't really want to do that. So Z, 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 Z. Okay, I think that's fine. I actually go, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with it being like curved inside, but I want it outside to stay kind of nice and fresh. 